All right, let's try this again. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I think I, because I had, I don't even think y'all could hear it. I mean, I could barely hear it. But I had like a little bit of some music playing in the background. And I'm pretty sure that's why Facebook disconnected my thing. So maybe if I wait like five, ten minutes or something, then I can start it. And then it might... <laughs> Then maybe it'll let me. <laughs> then maybe it will let me. Oh, it's okay. It's okay because I totally dropped my drink and I spilled it on my computer desk. <laughs> hey, Sarah. Hey, D. Hey, Crystal. Hey, Danielle. Hey, Brittany. Hey, Meg. Hey, Tosh. Hey, y'all. Hi, Hannah. Okay, so... If you see the little red box, you're watching this live. Lucky you. Just kidding. Um, but if you don't see this live, then um, you're watching the replay, and that's totally cool. But comment below and hashtag replay so I can say, hey, girl, hey, and say hi to you and let you know that you stopped by. Oh, you like the glow? Thank you. You know, I got that at... Um, I got it at this little antique store and they were having like a sale and I think I paid like $15 for it and it's vintage and y'all know I'm all about that kind of stuff. So I was super excited. <laughs> hey Jenna, how are you guys? All right. If y'all find what I am saying or doing valuable, funny, train wreck, whatever, and you like it, please hit the share button. That would mean the world to me. And comment below and let me know that you shared it so I can thank you. Okay, so tonight we are going to talk about foundation coverage hacks. And the reason that I'm doing this tonight is because it's been a while since I've had, you know, kind of like a, like a crazy, you know, face break out, but I've been really terrible at, um, I've been really horrible at, hold on, let me pin this. Can I do that? How do you pin some? Ooh. Oh, I did it. Yay. I did it right. Okay. Um, I wanted to pin that because I always get questions on what am I using and where do I get it? Hey mom. Oh my gosh. How is the rain? My mother-in-law is in Houston and their street was flooded and they've had house damage from the hurricane. I'm over here like freaking out, you guys. How bad is it? Is it is it better? Is it worse? Oh my gosh, I hope I oh it's stressing me out. Okay. I wanted to put some music on. I feel like I'm the only person who gets in trouble when I put music on. Does it matter if you say like can y'all hear that? Can y'all hear that? Hopefully I've been live long enough that it doesn't it doesn't even matter. Okay. So I'm going to teach y'all some little foundation hacks. And the reason that I'm going to do this now is because um, I didn't sleep well last night. And I have, you know, like a little, little bit of breakout. So we're going to talk about coverage, okay? So the first thing is um, if you have dark under eye circles, and this is the, probably the biggest, the biggest thing that people pick wrong with their makeup is they choose a concealer that matches their skin tone. That's actually not what you guys want to do. You, The purpose of concealer is to conceal unwanted tones and neutralize an unwanted tone. So for example, I have these purple dark circles that you can see, okay? And the, the purpose of that is to conceal those. Oh, hold on. I see comments. I see comments. Thank you so much, Sarah. Thank you. Thank you, Kyle. Thank y'all so much. Oh my gosh, thank you, Dee. Thank you, Sarah. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much for sharing. I am, I'm so stressed out with, with this hurricane stuff. And supposedly it's going to like, it's hitting and then it's circling around and then it's going to come back. I mean, there's like highways that are underwater and ugh, it's so bad, you guys. Like... I have to take a deep breath or I can't even deal. <laughs> I can't even deal. I can't even deal. Okay, so this concealer, this is the color chiffon. It's a pink undertone. This, I'm going to show you. This does not match my skin right now, okay? It's, too, it's pink and it's a little bit darker. But because I have these dark under eye circles, it's going to neutralize 
that unwanted tone. It's going to help me neutralize those unwanted purple tones and it's going to conceal them nicely, okay? So what I like to do is I like to do a V, okay? So here's foundation hack number two or coverage hack is what we should call it. Coverage hack number two is you do it in a V and the reason you don't do a crescent shape is because when you do it in a V like this, it reflects the light down and illuminates your eyes. If you do it like this only, not only does that kind of, it, it, doesn't, it doesn't give the full coverage that you want. So you always wanna do your foundation in a deep V. Hold on, I'm missing comments, I'm missing comments. Let me see, you know what? Actually, I'm gonna go to my main profile because then I can see comments in real time. There we go. Hey Barb, how are you? And the other reason, this is another hack. The reason that I do my eyes first, and this was like a like hardcore adjustment that I had to do, you guys, but the reason that I do my foundation second over my eyes is because it's so much easier to clean up your foundation. Or it's easier to clean up your shadow when you do it like that. And I have this double-sided brush, and so I just kind of like to turn it over and take it and make it a little bit more matte. And just that, like that's the only concealer that I have on right there. But that even looks like a million times better. Hold on, let me check. Let me check comments real quick. You put your concealer on after foundation. Is that not right? Um, I mean, I don't know if it's like right or wrong, but I do it first. But the reason that I do it first is because I'm using a darker, um, a darker concealer to conceal my dark under eye circles because they're so dark. So I kind of like to use my foundation to blend it all in together. So I really, I don't want to say it's wrong, but I don't want to say it's right either because it really does depend on what products you're using and what you're using them for. I have such dark, um, dark circles that I have to do it like this or my coverage it's not the same. And even if I um even if I use my foundation um like I do my foundation and you know powder and stuff first and then I do my eyes, my coverage still isn't good. It's just like it just kind of like accents everything. So that's why I do it like this. Okay, so here now I'm using I use five drops of the touch liquid, okay? So when you're using a mineral-based foundation or any mineral-based products, you're going to want to shake them. You like the lip color? Thank you. Oh my gosh. You know what's funny about this lip color? <laughs> it is actually what I'm using is I'm using prim eyeliner and pristine eyeliner as my lip liner. And then I put a fluent. I think that was the one. Yeah. And then I put a fluent over it. So it's kind of kind of mauvey, kind of matching my eyes. I was playing with um, with some new stuff that I got in the mail, so that's what we were doing. Okay, so coverage foundation hack number three, four, three or four. What are we on? Are we on three or are we on four? <laughs> okay, when you are doing your foundation, you do not want to scrub into your skin like that. Do you see the little circle marks that it makes? You want to gently buff it into your skin, okay? Have I ever used a beauty blender? I do. I have them right here. Um, I don't use them for, um, I am going to use them tonight, but I typically don't use them when I'm applying my foundation. I just, I don't know, I like the brush. <laughs> I like the brush. Thank you, Kyle. Okay, so on my eyes tonight... If you're in my VIP group, you can get these now. If you're not in my VIP group, then you have to wait until the first. But this is, um, on my eyes, is the new uh, customizable palettes that are launching on the first. So I will post details and colors and all that in there. If you're not in there and you'd like to be, um, just comment below and I will get you added. Every time you use a brush, it gets streaks. Okay. So a tip for that is typically we hold our brushes like this. Try holding it like this so it's a lighter, um, it's, it's lighter as you start buffing it in. If you, if you, you know, scrub it in, it's going to, um, 
it'll give, it'll kind of be streaky. Um, so then another hack that you do is, so for me, especially in summertime, I am kind of oily. And so I like to go over, no matter what, what I'm doing, I like to go over with a pressed powder. I think that the pressed powder makes such a big difference. And I just do a really light, and I'm gonna do one side of my face, just to kind of show you guys kind of what it looks like. But I think it just, it does a great job of keeping it nice and matte. You can, ah, sorry guys, I don't know what, uh, I don't know what is going on. You know what I think it is? I swear, Facebook has it out for me. If I, like, I watch lives all the time and people are jamming out to Pandora and all these other things, but if I do it, like on super low, Facebook is like, oh no, you didn't, and they're like, eh trying to reconnect, trying to reconnect. I turned it off and it, boom, reconnected right there. That is not fair. Facebook, that is not fair. Everyone else can jam, but I can't jam. That's okay. That's okay, we'll just talk, we'll just talk. You're duplicating my every action right now. <laughs> You're so funny. <laughs> okay, but do you see how you can kind of see that line right there? And I mean, you can still see them, but it helps with coverage wise, with the pressed powder. See how this is a little bit more dewy, it's a little bit more, you know, kind of glowy, which is, if you like that, you know, I mean, absolutely. But this is just, it's more matte, it's more, um, it just kinda, I just think it gives a good coverage. But this is the other thing too, you guys. When you are choosing your foundation products, um, you need to make sure that you're getting the right type of foundation for your skin. So for instance, if you are oily, you are not going to want to use a product like a BB cream. And the reason is, is because your skin is producing a ton of oil and a product like a BB cream is going to give you more moisture. And so when your skin already has, you know, a lot of oil and then you're putting a product that's giving more moisture, it's just gonna be really, really slick. So um, if you, you know, if you're using um, unique products, um, I can do, you know, a, co um, a color, or a, I call them foundation consults is what I like to call them. Um, just because the I have found that the majority of women are using the wrong colors, the wrong undertones of product, and the wrong type of product for their skin. And even when I first started, um, it was it was uh, winter time, and I was just I was using the BB cream, and I was just like, oh my gosh, like why isn't my coverage? Why doesn't it look like everybody else? Why didn't it look by everybody else's? So I kind of had like a little bit, a little bit of a learning, a little bit of a learning curve there. But okay. So, pressed powder to set. So if you're just jumping on, welcome. Thank you so much for joining in. If you like what I'm saying, hit the share button and then comment below and let me know that you shared so I can say thank you. But let me recap on our foundation hacks first, okay? So concealer. You don't wanna choose concealer to match your skin tone necessarily. The purpose of concealer is to negate unwanted tones. So if you are you know, doing dark circles, you're gonna want a pink undertone concealer. If you have acne or redness, you're gonna wanna use a yellow undertone. If you have dark spots, you're, that's when you're gonna wanna use same shade as your base, okay? Um, second foundation hack was, sorry, I had a stray hair. <laughs> How to start here. Um, second foundation hack was to not hold the brush there and scrub. Hold your brushes toward the end and gently buff, okay? Gently buff in a circular motion. Don't press and scrub, just gently buff, okay? And then if you are more oily and you need, you know, more coverage or you'd like to set your product, you're gonna wanna use a pressed powder and a light fluffy brush or you can use the little sponge, okay? All right, so the next little hack. This is where we're bringing in the blending bun, okay? This, is, this isn't something that I always do. It's a product that I always use, but the way I'm gonna show you guys, I don't always do it like this. This is a Behold Setting Powder, okay? This is one of our new things, and I like to use like a little blending bud like this, and I dab it in, okay? And I like to set right up under here, okay? So I do a nice, generous amount under my eyes, okay? And the cool thing about this is setting powders blur. It's literally like, it's kind of almost like Photoshop. 
Like it blurs imperfections. And so when you're taking pictures in the light, like see how, do you see how even with the pressed powder, I still have that little line and that shine right there. But then look at this side. Like you don't see any of that. Okay. So that is, that's my other little trick. Um, you are going to want to set anywhere on your face that you have a lot of oil that you want to keep really matte, really clean looking. You can use it all over your face. Um, I'm going to show you guys right here. So the way that I do it is this is like a little, it's it's like a little mesh thing. And so I just press in and I just go pretty much how I did the concealer. So just like that, okay? And see how it's, it's a little bit light and it's like a translucent kind of color, okay? You can tap like that to get some more product out if you need it. And I like to just kind of press it in just like this. And then this is, it's not, this isn't actually like baking, baking, but I do like to kind of leave it there and just let my skin kind of absorb it while I do like my bronzer and stuff like that. Another place that I really like to do is I'll turn my little thing over like this, okay? And I will blot right here on my forehead and then I will take this part of my powder concealer brush and I'll go right over my brows right here. And the reason being is like, especially in the summertime, I get like slick. Like I can like wipe across my forehead right here. And it is like, I mean, it is like oil central. It is just, it's obnoxious. And so I like to set right above my brows here. And also because I clean up my brows with concealer. So I just kind of dab it like that. If you don't like the blending buds, you can always use a brush, which I do both. I kind of bounce back and forth. But I like the blending buds because um, when you're doing, you know, something like this, I feel like it can kind of, you know, sling powder everywhere if you're not, if you're not careful. Okay, so I leave that kind of sitting right there. Um, I also like to put it right here. And I like to go like that because I get super oily in my T-zone. Your T-zone is this. Okay, so that is where it is like super slick, especially in the summertime. Wintertime's not that bad. Okay, so while we are doing that, I'm going to show you guys a really easy way to do a quick contour. Okay, so the way that I contour is I use our bronzer and a little blusher brush. <laughs> a blusher brush, and I go right here. Okay, and I'm basically just adding those lines right back into my face. And see how this looks nice and sculpted. You don't see anything there. Okay, so that's what I do. And a good way, if you've never contoured before or you're scared, do the three. Okay, so the three is this. So right here, right here, and right here. Okay, so it's like you're literally making a three motion. That's how you know you're never going to mess it up. Okay, so right here, right here, and right there. Okay, just like that. And then that adds a really nice little sculpt into your face. And if you want, you know, a more heavy contour, you can build. If you want an easy, you know, kind of light contour, you can do it like that. And then what I like to do is I will take, ooh, oh man, sorry guys. Hey Audrey. I thought nobody was commenting, but it was just my, my comments got stuck. I've heard you say something about not owning music in the title, but I don't know how true that is. Oh, I don't know if that, like, I feel like it, I will always watch people and they always have that and then they never get, you know, Facebook never locks them down. So I was like, well, maybe it does make a difference. I don't know. <laughs> I thought I would try it. I thought I would try it. Is the powder you're using the same powder in the collection that's ending in a couple days? Yes, it is, Sarah. Um, okay. So, so far what I have used is I've used my primer. Oh my gosh, I didn't put my primer on on the video with you guys because I did my eyes first. This is kind of like my secret weapon to my eye makeup and my face makeup in general. Primer, so here's another foundation hack. Forgot to, forgot to add this one in. I got distracted when it kicked me off. <laughs> Your comments got stuck because of the pin post. Oh, thank you. I didn't know that. Okay. 
I'm learning new. I'm learning. I'm learning how to Facebook Live. You guys work with me. Work with me. <laughs> okay. So the primer, primer, you need a pea size amount. Okay. So like yay big, pea size amount. I like to do this. And the purpose of primer is it's like a, it kind of forms like a barrier on your face. Okay. So it forms a nice barrier and it's going to keep your makeup from seeping down into your pores. And you know, have you ever, have you ever put on your makeup and by the end of the day, you just feel like it's like, it's like stuck in your skin and it feels like, ugh, like it just kind of feels icky. Primer is what prevents that. The other thing that primer is amazing for is that it allows you to use a lot less product and still get really, you know, pop and coverage. I used primer and a cream shadow for my eyes. I didn't use any rose water or anything like that. I mean, granted our pressed palettes are very, um, are pigmented, but that is, you know, primer grabs that color and it gives you a more true color instead of having to, you know, take your, take your shadow brush and like blend it, blend it, blend it, blend it, blend it to try to get that, that true pigment. So that's the other benefit of primer. Okay. Okay. So Sarah, so yes. So in that collection that you were asking about, that's ending in a couple days, it has the primer, it has the liquid foundation, it has the concealer, and it has the Behold Setting Powder. And if you're in my VIP group, there's some extra stuff in there for you guys. So um, before you order, um, just just send me a message and I will, um, I'll tell you how to get all that. Hey guys, hey y'all just joining in. Thank you, Tyler. Thank you. You need to get with me to do another foundation. Okay, yeah, that works. That works, pretty girl. Okay, so. When I started this video, you saw horrible dark circles, okay? Bad dark circles, you saw acne. I didn't even have to use um, concealer to cover the acne because it, I mean, really, when you're using the right colors and the right undertones, your coverage is going to be so much better. So that is another big thing with that. Now, now that we've, you know, we've been kind of been talking for a few minutes, so now my setting powder that I've put on there has kind of, uh, melted into my skin. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of feather it out and blend it out. Okay. So anywhere I put it on, I'm just going to kind of feather it and blend it. So on the nose, stuff like that. Oh, and this is the other thing. This collection also comes with this. I have not used this one. So we're going to do it together. We're going to do it together. So I have a little bit on my skin right here. Oh, it's like really picking up that light. Look at that. Yeah. Okay. So this is our cream luminizer, okay? It blends to a powder finish, okay? So everything's pretty matte on my face. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little bit on my skin like this, okay? A little dot like that. And I think I'm actually just gonna use my, um, I think I'm just gonna use my finger, y'all. Okay, so I'm kind of blending it in like that. And I'm gonna go right here on my cheekbone, like. If the sun was directly coming down on me, I would have a little bit of light right here, a little bit right here on the tip of your nose, and right here. This is basically to add back in the where the light is going to naturally hit, okay? So I'm just gonna kinda go and just add a little glow. And these are buildable. So if you want more glow than that, just go back and add a little more. Y'all know me and highlighter. We'd be, we'd be working that highlighter. Okay. All right. And then what I like to do is I just kind of take the edge of my brush and just kind of blend the edges together. Okay. So it gives just like a little, a nice little summer, kind of a little glow right there. I like to put it right here. And you can also put it on your lips too. Like that. And that'll give kind of like a little kind of like a little ombre effect, okay? Let's do this side. So see where that, see where my light is kind of reflecting right there? That's where you're gonna wanna put your highlighter, just like that. And you just blend it back and forth, circle motion, just like that. Isn't that pretty? Okay. And then just take your brush and kind of blend the sides see right there it's kind of little little pop right there okay all right if you want to you can go right down there too 
we'll do that why not why not and I'm gonna do right here too because why not a little bit of glow we're getting our glow on okay all right so all of that is the collection that um, Sarah was asking about it's saving $59 it's retiring in four well three days technically because today's like pretty much over but it is retiring in three days um and I mean this is one of my one of my favorites and this setting powder that I was using for under my eyes that blurs those imperfections that is in it after I do my highlighter I like to kind of come back under and just do a little bit like that but see how nice and clean that looks like I'm gonna I'm gonna post a before and after picture for y'all in the comments but okay so let's do epic really quick because this might may or may not be the something extra that comes with this if you're in my VIP group but you have to be in there or you know okay so the cool thing with this is that this brush right here can y'all see that it looks cool okay so the brush separates your lashes and curls them up so it's literally like two steps in one it curls your lashes for you okay the way that the brush is it's not gonna make them clumpy or anything like that I kind of like my lashes to kind of be pulled together um, but if you want if so if you want them like that you can just turn the side like this and do it like that we don't have to and let's see if I can show you guys the well, can y'all see the curl yes can y'all see it okay so this is one step of the new epic this is what in style magazine has been posting about and all of those other beauty magazines this is what everyone is freaking out about okay now I am gonna show you guys something that okay so this is just the epic so that is pretty I mean my lashes are kind of sad but okay so there's that I have a new box of 3d because my old one was like four months old shameful I know <laughs> it was bad okay so I'm gonna show you guys the difference in when you use these together because these were formulated they work great by themselves but if you are using them together which is what they were formulated to do you are going to have major oomph in your lashes okay so let's do this <coughs> sorry I had a little had to cough had to cough <laughs> okay so here's the one step okay so you just I mean this is just it's like a it's like a regular mascara except it makes your lashes like BAM It's actually easier to look in here and do my mascara on this one <laughs> okay so pretty good okay so when you combine the two all right this is the gel from the 3d fiber lashes I am a th diehard 3d girl like I I just love them I love the volume it gives I love the length that it gives okay so there's that little tip when you're doing this roll it on like the back of your hand I, normally I would do it on the back of my hand I can't do it on the back of my hand right now because I have a luminizer on it but and you want to go middle lash to tip okay middle lash to tip <coughs> <coughs> sorry guys okay all right, and then kind of let those sit there for a minute. And you can seal with the Epic, but I personally just kind of like to go back and seal with the gel. I think it just, I mean, that's kind of what it was, it was made for. But, so, I have the gel. I'm using both of the mascaras right now, okay? And someone was asking me the other day, they were like, well, 
I mean, like, doesn't it annoy you to use two mascaras? No, it doesn't because normally when I use like the one mascara, I'm doing like 20 coats anyway because my lashes are so sad looking. But look at this. Okay, these still very full, okay, very long. Can y'all see if I look down? Okay, so Epic is amazing by itself, but when you pair it with that, okay, these are meant to be used together. And right now, um, it is ending in three days, but if you're obsessed with these, you might as well just get the Lash Trio, save yourself 20%, and basically get the Epic for free, and you'll have the Lash Serum, which will grow your eyelashes too, which is why mine look so nice and full, because I've been growing my lashes for the last mm, two weeks, three weeks. And I've actually been growing my eyebrows too. I've been putting it on my eyebrows, because when I had McCoy, it, he like sucked all the hair from me. <laughs> like, he thinned my hair out, he thinned my, my brows out, he thinned everything out, okay? <laughs> Your lashes are sad looking, Miranda. Girl, get the trio. Like, seriously, look at that. That's 3D Epic. I had my lash serum on. Um, I usually do it at nighttime. But so that's 3D and Epic. That is just Epic. Get the trio. Like, seriously. I mean, it's basically you get, you're saving over 20 bucks. So, you know, you'll get that for free. What's the difference between the Epic and the 3D mascara? Okay. The difference between Epic and 3D is Epic is a one step, okay? So it's just you take it out, you apply it, you know, just like this, and then you're done, okay? 3D is actually, it's two tubes and it's a three step process. You do a gel, fibers mid lash to tip, and then you do the gel. But it gives you a ton of volume. In one application, which is a gel fibers gel, you'll get up to a 500% increase in volume. And I mean, this is what I'm always using because my lashes are super, super thin. They're better with the, with the serum, but this is, I, I just can't, I will always use this. Like, I love this stuff. <laughs> but so yeah, so that's the difference. But I like to use them both together. Um, the reason I like to use them both together is because this one, will keep them, it will, well first off it'll curl the lashes, so that saves me an extra step. So it'll curl my lashes for me, and it separates them so nicely, so then when I go back and I do, you know, the fibers on it, it stays like nice and separated, and it looks really, it looks natural. Um, do I have a Texas accent? Do I? Everyone tells me that, but I don't hear it. Like, do I have an accent, y'all? <laughs> I don't hear it. Um, Okay, um, the trio is $76, so this is $24, this is $29, and then the Lash Serum is $42, but right now, and through the end of the month, it's bundled all together, and it's saving you $21, so $76 for all three of them. I think it's a killer deal. I mean, I, obviously, I mean, I ordered one, <laughs> but I mean, babe, do my lashes look good? He said they look fabulous. <laughs> fabulous. He's tired of hearing me talking about my lashes. Party pooper. Mm. Boy, bye. We ain't got time for that. Mm. He's just mad because he can't, he can't get away with. He's mad because he can't get away with that. <laughs> no, seriously, my husband's lashes like literally touch his hair and it's. <sighs> does the Epic have fibers in it too? No, Epic does not have fibers in it. Nope, they don't. Epic does not have the fibers in it at all. It is just, it's like a regular mascara. Although, even though it's a regular mascara, it still gives like, I mean, when it's paired next to the 3D, it's, you know. But, I mean, it still gives some nice fullness and length. And it is buildable too. So you can absolutely use this by itself. But, I mean, when you pair, I mean, these really are meant to be used all together and so when you use them all together that's when you're gonna get like bam let's see hang on let me make sure I'm not missing any comments hey Ann hey Courtney how are you hey Sarah hey Lorena hey Katie hey Christine hey y'all hey y'all 
Okay, if I didn't say hi to you, it's because it, it didn't show me that you popped on. So I promise I'm not ignoring you. <laughs> All right, guys. Okay, so quick recap on what we chit-chatted about tonight. Foundation coverage. Concealer does not necessarily need to match your skin tone, okay? Concealer is to conceal unwanted tones. And based on what you want to conceal, that's what you're going to want to... Um, choose the undertone for. If you have no idea what that means, message me and I can help you choose, you know, what color you need to be in and give you some coverage options there. Um, uh, so the other thing was um, setting, if you have, you know, semi-oily skin, setting your foundation with a powder or using a setting powder, that's what's going to give you that matte, really nice, flawless finish. If you do want some shimmer added back in, do a luminizer or something like that. Um, and then lashes. Lash trio. Y'all, three more days for real. Three more days. Three more days. Three more days to basically get the Epic Mascara for free. The exfoliator mask is bomb.com. Oh, yay! You like it. Isn't that awesome? I've been using the um, the oil control mask because, you know, my skin's all... My skin be crazy in the summertime. I be crazy. But yay, I'm so glad you love it, Sarah. Yay, 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 yay. All right, you guys. I will let y'all go. If you have any questions or you need help choosing colors or have any questions, please comment below or you can message me anytime. Thank you so much, everyone, for jumping on and sharing. Love you guys. Bye.